are the British government going to accept the EU's offer on the Northern Ireland Protocol? Just to recap, Lord Frost, in his speech in Portugal, talked about a new protocol, describing that protocol as being forward-thinking, saying that he'd shared with the EU Commission a new legal text, that the proposal was more like a normal treaty in the way it was governed with international arbitration instead of a system of EU law policed in the court of one of the parties in the European Court of Justice. Now, the EU's response to that is that the ECJ can't be uh, cut out. That is a non-starter. They are rejecting outright the removal of the ECJ. What the EU are saying, and the EU's Mara Sefcovic gave a press conference on this, he claimed that the EU are turning their rules upside down and inside out uh, and proposing an alternative model for the implementation of the protocol. We have completely turned our rules upside down and inside out to find a solid solution to an outstanding challenge. That involves the EU changing its own rules on medicines. In practice, British wholesalers of medicines will be able to continue supplying Northern Ireland from their current location in Great Britain. They will not need to relocate infrastructure, including testing facilities or regulatory functions to Northern Ireland or the European Union. This means, for instance, that uh, Great Britain can continue acting as a hub for supply of generic medicines uh, for Northern Ireland, even though it is now a third country. We are ready to put forward a legislative uh, proposal to this end. Turning to the second part of uh, our package, the area of uh, public plant and animal health and the movement of sanitary and phytosanitary goods from Great Britain to Northern Ireland. We are talking about a significant range of retail goods that would be for sale to end consumers in Northern Ireland only. These would benefit from both simplified certification and an approximately 80% reduction of checks and controls required. So what's now being reported by The Telegraph is that Lord Frost could potentially compromise when it comes to the EU court. Now, in terms of the DUP's response to this, uh, Sir Geoffrey Donaldson speaking out. Well, it was good to have the, uh, this early opportunity to speak to Mara Sefcovic about the EU's proposals. Um, as I've said, we welcome the fact that the EU is now in negotiating mode. We've moved some way from where we were even a few weeks ago, where the EU were saying there'll be no negotiations, no reopening of the issues around the protocol. And I think we've come a long way in that short time. We talked about not only um, the need to resolve the issues on the movement of goods between Great Britain and Northern Ireland so that the Irish Sea border is removed, but also um, the future governance arrangements because no doubt um, as the EU changes its own rules on, uh, uh, on the way forward uh, uh, and on trade, uh, there will uh, from time to time be disputes between the EU and the UK on trading issues. And it's important that there is an arbitration process that both sides can trust that is fair and equitable. And I think it's right that the UK government presses this issue in the negotiations. Mara Sefcovic confirmed that uh, talks uh, are getting underway. Um, officials will be meeting later this week uh, to begin that process. Uh, I want to see a focused and intensive negotiation, and I think we're going to get that now. Certainly from our discussions with the UK government, that is what they want as well. Uh, and uh, Mara Sefcovic was very clear. They want this sorted um, this year, and the sooner the better. Clearly, there's still some way to go. What the EU have put on the table falls well short of what we need, um, but uh, progress is being made uh, and we need to see more progress in the next few days. So I want to know from you in the comments below, guys, what do you want to see Lord Frost and Boris Johnson do next? And as ever, do make sure you've hit subscribe and the bells. I keep bringing you all the very latest. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you soon.